يا ايها الذين امنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Well, praise and thanks is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Peace and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his friends, and upon all those who try to emulate him until the end of time. Amma ba'd. Today we've reached day number 10, and we'll be looking at a very important topic. Not that the other topics aren't important, but a topic that needs to be discussed and sometimes people feel that why should you discuss this and this is the topic of dress code in islam so obviously these lessons that we're going through every single day a lot more can be said you can have a talk for an hour for two hours you can actually have a few classes on this but what we're trying to do is just a quick reminder it's the month of Ramadan don't want to waste too much time so maybe on your way to work on your way back from work sitting preparing something just a short clip so that we can understand a bit about the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala walhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says Ya Bani Adam O oh, children of Adam, قَدْ أَنزَلْنَا عَلَيْكُمْ libasa That we have bestowed raiment upon you to cover yourselves. يُوَارِي سَوْآتِكُمْ وَرِيشَ That to cover yourselves, screen your private parts as an adornment. وَلِبَاسُ taqwa. ذَٰلِكَ خَيْرِ ذَٰلِكَ مِنْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ لَعَلَّهُمْ يَذَّكَّرُونَ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says that, and He appeals to the children of Adam, not يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا يَا بَنِي آدَمْ O children of Adam, whatever religion you follow, whatever race you are, whatever culture you follow, we have bestowed raiment upon you, to cover yourselves, to screen your private parts, etc. And as an adornment and the raiment of taqwa, of righteousness, that is better. And we want to focus on the first part. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded and ordered us to cover ourselves correctly. To dress appropriately. That for the males to cover that which is from the navel to the knee. And from the females is to cover everything of their body parts except the hands and faces according to one opinion. And to another opinion to cover the face as well. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us and understanding but yet we find that we live in a society we live in a time and we live in a place when covering oneself and especially our females when covering oneself correctly is seemed backwards it is seen that they are oppressed it seems that they are controlled by the men folk in the family. With this dress code and covering one's aura and not letting a strange man look at you and stare at you and sometimes having weird ideas in his mind about you. That this is not something that some male created but this is a command from Allah Azza wa Jal. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that cover your private parts. Cover yourselves correctly. And this is something that we should try to implement. Especially with our young children as well. From a young age teach them. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 
He informed us and he said that command or teach your children to make salah at the age of seven. Once they reach the age of ten, now you need to start being more stricter with them. So with the, starting them at the age of seven, one can use this as a basis for everything else in Islam. <coughs> with hijab as well. So you start teaching them at the age of seven to start covering up properly. Not to wear sleeveless clothing, not to wear short skirts, etc. And you start implementing this slowly so when they reach the age of 10, when they reach a bit older, when they come to Mukallaf, then they know exactly how to dress. Abu Huraira radiallahu an, he reported that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said there are two types of groups of the fire of Jahannam, whom I did not see. They are people having frogs like the tails of the ox with them. And they would be beating people. This is the first group. But we would like to focus on the second group. The second group, the Prophet peace be upon him says, and they are women who would be dressed but appear to be naked, who would be inclined to the evil and make their husbands inclined to it. Their heads would be like the hams of the Bukh camel, inclined to one side. They will not enter paradise and they would not smell its odor, whereas its odor would be smelt from such a such a distance. And if you look in society today, many people they are dressed, but they are undressed. Whether it's tight clothing, whether it's see-through clothing, whether it's extremely short clothing. And it's really sad that we see our Muslim women and Muslim males in a way also dressing in ways which is totally un-Islamic. This is the month of Ramadan. This is the month where we turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Seek the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. And ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep you steadfast and make a change for the better so that you can be of those and we can be of those that enters the paradise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our shortcomings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive our parents. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أيها الذين آمنوا كتب عليكم الصيام كما كتب على الذين من قبلكم لعلكم تتقون